Hi, everyone. Charles Darwin is not only famous for his theory of natural selection, but also sexual selection. The theory of sexual selection suggests that the male in nature tend to be competitive. They fight against each other to fertilize females. Females, however, tend to be choosy. They select the best males to fertilize their eggs. So males often develop beautiful ornaments to attract females. For example, male peacocks have beautiful tails to attract females, but females are dull in color. Charles Darwin, however, thought that sexual selection does not operate in simple animals, such as snails, because their minds are too simple to compete for or choose mates. But is he right? Let's see my study. I studied mangrove snails that made on she canopies, as shown in the picture. Males actively search for females during the mating season. May searching, however, can be very difficult in between the leaves and branches for these snails because they don't have good eyesight like us. They don't have mobile phones or Facebooks. So how can males find females? I discovered that males of these snails were able to locate females of their own species by following their mucus trails. So males can detect both the sex and species by touching the mucus trails using their tentacles. So males chase females, but do they choose females as well? Yes, they do. I found that males prefer to mate with large females for much longer time than small females, because large females produce much more babies. You know what? These snails can mate for more than five hours. So for people who have sex problems, perhaps they should ask these snails for advices. Finally, do males compete for females? Yes, when two males encounter a female, they aggressively push against each other, and large males always won the mating battles. In summary, my study challenges the traditional interpretation of sexual selection theory proposed by Charles Darwin by showing that males can be both competitive and choosy. It also shows that snails are not that stupid as Charles Darwin thought. More importantly, it demonstrates that studies on simple animals can help to understand the processes driving evolution. Thank you.